So the future of self-driving vehicles is really, really exciting because what we're seeing is a radical disruption of a system that, when we think about it, has actually been in place for over 100 years. We're used to being drivers of vehicles. We're used to being in control, to sensing the environment around us and to making decisions about the routes we take, the speed we drive or the choices we make when we're driving a vehicle. Self-driving vehicles completely disrupt that. They change that allocation of responsibility between the driver and the vehicle. And therefore, what we really need to understand is what's the appropriate allocation of responsibility to people and what can technology do to improve the self-driving system as a whole for all. So the acceleration of the technologies to enable self-driving vehicles over the last few years has been really, really impressive. We're seeing significant advances in the qualities of the algorithms to make sure that cars will be able to make decisions in more and more situations and scenarios. We're also seeing advances in the quality of the sensing systems within vehicles, both those sensing systems that sense the surrounding um, environment of the vehicle, but also the sensing of what's happening within the vehicle, the sensing of the people within the vehicle. And it's by combining those different sets of sensing information that we know we're going to be able to have a really dynamic system that can respond to a range of different types of situations. But what we've also seen advances in is the way in which we're learning from the actual response of vehicles in a real world setting. So the trials that are taking place both in simulated environments and in real environments that help us to understand what actually happens when we deploy these technologies is also really important for making the reality of self-driving vehicles on our road much more likely in the near term future. So I hope that we're able to see self-driving features be used, probably at first in limited situations, in the next five to ten years. What we need in order to enable that to happen is a different regulatory framework to understand that change in allocation of responsibility from being drivers and vehicles to thinking about what comes beyond that when we have self-driving features. We also need to have for the early deployment of these technologies a really good assurance that the technologies work, first of all, in those limited situations. So that's my hope and that's what I would recommend is the best way to start these technologies being deployed in a real world setting. What we know is that once those technologies are deployed, we will start our learning. We'll start our learning as to what the technologies can and can't do and where we need to invest more in terms of developing those technologies. But we'll also learn about the responses of people and the environment around self-driving vehicles. So I'm keen to do everything we can to start those trials of cars on the road with self-driving features within the next five to 10 years or even sooner if possible. So the benefit of self-driving vehicles is something that we'll see in different ways over the years. One of the first benefits that I hope we will see is a reduction in incidents that directly result from driver inattention. One of the things we know is that around sort of 40 to 50 percent of incidents it's been um, suggested may result from driver inattention, a, a failure from a cognitive um, perspective. So we know that self-driving vehicles have the potential to reduce the likelihood of incidents that result from driver inattention. But actually there are some wider societal benefits that I hope self-driving vehicles will deliver. We know that there are many small and medium-sized enterprises already in the UK that are innovating in the world of self-driving vehicles. Um, of those who've received government funding to date, 35 have already secured £790 million worth of investment from venture capital to grow their businesses. So there's a real opportunity for the self-driving vehicle industry to grow at quite a rapid rate and therefore bring a real opportunity for us as the UK to lead in the development and deployment of self-driving vehicle technologies.